What's up, Jaywalkers? We are back with another reaction. We're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 6 of Glee. Uh, very excited. The last one was a good one. It was a big one. And some firsts did happen. Rachel and Finn, and of course, Blaine and Kurt. But I did. I think they did a really good job with it, and I like the way um, it all happened. Of course, already at first trying to push them to do this. Uh, the experience would help their performance, and this and that. Everything he was saying was awful. So thanks for that, Artie. But... Once again, did love the way it all ended up. Blaine and Kurt, for me, were um, both really strong in that last episode. Of course, having to deal with Sebastian and him very openly liking Blaine um, and not caring that he's with Kurt, none of that. So go to the bar with that guy. Uh, we see Krowski, which is freaking crazy to see him there. Um, but it was also pretty cool. And, of course, the argument, which led to... The scene where they both apologized to each other, which led to the freaking ending. And it was all really good with Blaine and Kurt. Santana, for me, was also a star of the last episode. Um, just her role in the play and everything she was doing, all every performance she was involved in. The one with Rachel, that big group number. Um, she really freaking shined, in my opinion. So we love all of what we got from Santana as well in that episode, but... Uh, we're ready for this one. Full reactions over on my Patreon page. The link to that will be in the description box of every video over here on YouTube if you want to check those out. Feel free to hit the link and do so. That being said, we're jumping into it. Let's go. The Lion King Puck Fossa has been caged. I've been in love before, but this time feels different. This time oh, feels fucking lion to start us off, fuck. That's age difference isn't that crazy. Just look at Ashton and Demi, Indiana Jones and Ally McBeal, Woody Allen and that Chinese girl. Everything about it. Teacher-student relationships are tricky, but aren't all relationships? I need to put in the work for this one. I need to freaking put in the two-week notice from that job. She looks at me. And not work on this like anymore. He's freaking working all right. He thinks he is. Oh my god. Mike and Blade in the back. Assignment to work on this. You just did it. Mr. Schuster, you got snap out of it, well, book. That was great. Was excellent, snap particularly out. the drumming. Uh, don't you think that the subject matter is a little inappropriate? Well, that depends on what Puck's intent was when he chose this song. What was your intent? There it is. There she. Big Van Halen. All right, rock on. <laughs> oh yeah, Van Halen for life. Bert Hummel, he's running for Congress. Last and he's year, he winning. had a heart attack. He might have had a Believe heart it. from a baboon. <laughs> Baboons are dangerous killers who throw their own feces when they're not tearing Sad off people's faces or admiring. Shout, baboons. Bert Hummel and his baboon heart. Wrong on the issues, wrong for Ohio. I'm Sue Sylvester. Oh. I have a human heart, and I approve this mess. The man had angioplasty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like she's telling lies. Breathe deep. <sighs> you have to play nice. Because if you win by fighting dirty, it's not really winning. That's what it's gonna get students. dirty. It's gonna get messy. Listen, a vote for Britney is a vote for repair water fountains and robot teachers. Did you say robot teachers? Yep. <laughs> Radical. I've always wanted one. And also, listen, Rachel Berry is still on MySpace and thus unfit to lead. Dirty is a huge problem at the school, especially in the Glee Club. Have a seat, Gosser. You know why I fight dirty? Because what? I'm fighting for something. I have a cause. Several, actually. I hate the arts. It's a terrible. And a bunch cause. of other stuff. If you want to win. That's Find yourself a cause, my friend. Find yourself. It's also fling. used to believe that. I agree that perhaps I need a better cause, but I'm going to win this thing without having to fling a single stinky nugget. Ellen did. They just want a chance to take center stage during their senior uh, year. <laughs> did you get your letter today? About sectionals? Yeah. Figures we'd be up against you. Don't forget the unitard. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. So, well, that's going to get ugly around here. It's the last year for a lot of them, and they want to win. Oh, well, maybe competition will bring out the best in them. Or maybe it will turn into World War Glee. 
old war glee. We should do mashups around this time. I'm hoping for that one. He wants to combine choirs for sectionals. Well, it's not going to happen. The trouble tones are here to stay. So why don't you shuffle your busted choir off our stage? Look, you guys, we can compete without being enemies. Right? Yeah, we don't have tones. to get vicious. Oh, I think we do, soft serve. See, the trouble tones are three Fantastic. and here's femme do. phenomenal. Oh, and guys, hurry up. Go get some moist towels. We have to keep Finn wet before we can roll him back in the sea. Oops. Actually, your mustache is thicker than a Middle Eastern dictator's. Oh shit! Sharing our love together. Oh, that's freaking beautiful. I love it. Good guy. I'm with you, honey. Oh, it was punk? He was standing hard. Oh, the world should be a peace after hearing this. Like, no fighting, no nothing. Let's combine everything. We're at peace. Absolutely killed it. You, Shelby, I, I think we can all admit that that was weirdly amazing, but what exactly was the point? Nothing weird about bring it. Some friendly competition. Each group's going to put together their own mashup to perform head to head. For the first annual McKinley High okay. mashup. Let's go. Let's do this. That's pretty good, right? That's a weirdly good idea. They ran up apples in the cafeteria. And all of this. Thank you. Weird. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, well, that mistake meant something to me. I felt something I've never felt before. I'm in love with you. Oh, God. Wait, I made a list of the reasons we should be together. Number one, you're hot. Number two, you tell me you don't feel something, too. Yeah. Weird list. When you want a mashup, we're the ultimate mashup. Two things that maybe shouldn't work together. No, but do. no, no. This is all over your living room floor. Yes. See, you need me. I can help you with stuff like that. Let me let me take care of it this No, it's not gonna happen. I thought this is gonna happen. Oh my god. Okay. The trouble tones have a lot of powerful voices, so song selection is key here. Any suggestions? I think Paul and Oates are famous for their, their cool puffy hair and, and that dude's banging stash. Awesome. But also they're awesome for staying together over the long haul. Just like us. Despite all their differences. I think we should give this solo to the new guy. Yes, right. Rory, I think you'll do a good job. Thanks, Fun, but I don't think I'm ready for that honor just yet. Come on. We're totally ready. We've hardly been over there, and we need to spend as much time well, we hardly have been over as we there, can huh? so that when I get her, she doesn't freak out when I hold her. I'm being really nice to her, believe me. Look, this isn't a game, okay? So, so nice. I know where it takes to get closer to her, because closer to her is closer to that. I would like to join the Travel Tones. I have to think about that. That's Thanks a minute, so Trying to demean us to get inside of our heads so that we remain losers. Well, it's time to start getting inside of hers. Hey there, Orca. You can't. Hey, Santana. Just won't allow it. You look like an assless J-Lo. You can come up with You seriously think that you can out-insult me? I'm you can't. It's a losing battle, Finn. It's how me abuela put me to sleep at night, and she is not a nice lady. You know, she tried to sell me once, and it wasn't until I got to kindergarten that I learned my name wasn't Garbage Face. Then we'll have to settle this another way. It's a losing battle, Finn. Are you adjusting what I think you are? Yeah, I am. Dodgeball. Any battle you choose with Santana is losing battle. Applying to the New York Academy of Dramatic Arts. Ugh. All the girls who beat me out in the auditions when I was in New York, they all graduated from there. Well, my grades are perfect, and I was the lead in the school hear. musical. Make some noise with the admissions committee. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. Bye. I'm so proud of you. Mm. You could write your own version of the letter. an impressive resume you have the musical and all the clubs and maybe even oh, student council president so. i feel bad for all the kids oh. that don't have these big ticket items in their cvs I, I really i'm i really miss you kurt and i just 
I just, I really want to be your... You should have thought of that before you walked all over me and your borderline sociopathic climb to the top. Let's roll should out. always think about those things. On, Pillsbury Doter. Excuse me, Definitely. I've never heard of this game of dodging balls before. What's the rules? It's balls. Don't die. Don't you hit me with your best shot. Oh, it's impossible to throw it at Mike. Mike will be dancing around here. Getting all around the place. If I saw that coming at me, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running for my... Oh. It's a really fun match. A really fun scene. It's an old thing. Boom! I told you. It's a losing battle. Boy, that was a cracker. What? Oh! oh. Overkill. We do this to each other. We're better than this. God, calm down, Grandma. This game's over. Travel. Adele. I sound just like her. Dude, I love her. She sounds like what banana cream pie sounds like when it sings. Uh, I think it's a great idea, Mercedes. No. I think that we could really kill with that stuff. Agreed. And now with that decision out of the way, I can love stay the focused on my one-sided battle of wits with the knuckle dragon. Santana, the dodgeball thing was fun until the end, but enough. <laughs> no, honey, I'm just getting started. I'm the leader of this group, and I'm telling you, lay off oh. those. Nominate myself as president of the Trouble Toads. All in favor? I'm not impressed by your campaign. You didn't put any posters up. <laughs> Four in favor means Mercedes gets fair, elected. Fair enough. And she's right. Don't make time because you are a star member of this group and you need to represent. Stop the violence. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, God. Okay. Now on, I will be so nice, the cotton candy won't melt in my mouth. Uh, overly really nice Santana really is more good. scary than any other yes. Santana we've seen before. Been anymore. Shut your potato hole. I'm here to apologize. Rachel's right. I haven't been liked that you look like a taco addict who said one too many back alley liposuctions. Whoa. Please stick a stock in it or ship yourself back to Scotland. I'm trying to apologize to Lumps the Clown. I am sorry, Finn. We're trying! But really, I'm, I'm sorry that We're the new directions are going to get crushed. We're I'm trying. I'm hotels for the rest of your life. Although, you know what? I would just watch out for her come holiday time if I were him, because if I were her, I'd stick a stent in one of those boobs and let the Finn blubber light the Hanukkah lamp for eight magical nights. Oh my god! Let him live! Why don't you just come out of the closet? You know, I think I know why you're so good at tearing everybody else down. Oh my god. It's because you're it's constantly real, tearing yourself down because you can't admit to everybody that you're in love with Brittany and she might not love you back. You are... a coward. I'll see you at the mash-off. Thanks, you. You're good with her. It's because she's the best it's little girl one. in the whole world. Woo. Can I have her for a sec? Sure. Go see Hi. Mama. Hi. That's a good girl. What? <laughs> Put a bunch of stuff around here to make you look like an unfit mother. And then she called Child Protective Services. You know, good parents. It was wrong and stupid and totally selfish. I'm really, really sorry. But she's no accident. Mm. Quinn and I gave her life. Somehow, God or nature or whatever, it's meant for you and her to be together. Wow. At F below middle C, just like We're a dad. It's gonna be fun, okay? All right, here we go. Finn will represent. No doubt about it. You don't gotta remind us because we don't tones the hit anything. Paper, scissor, face off to see who will perform so, first. All right. It going. Let's do this. One, Phil is two, three. Oh, okay. Love that. Oh yeah. What I want, you got. It might be hard to hit. Oh, yeah. You make my dreams come true. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that was Puck at first. What the fuck is that guy? That's fun. Loved it. Trouble tones. You were. Wait, almost everyone loves to use ad. Almost everyone. Well, that ad was bulletproof. I accused Bert Hummel of using his tire shop to sexually assault automobiles. I accused Bert of a lot of that. things. 
a lot of things. Ferguson turnout reflects this school's passion for democracy and also a reminder it is against <laughs> school <laughs> policy <laughs> to pass gas into jobs. So I think it's time that the teachers started doing what we say. And, and how about you stop talking in class, Mrs. Janicek? Everything you have to say is boring. <laughs> Go rake the stick. Tornadoes are nature's most destructive force. I doubt he gets one vote. Other than storms have ravaged America. There, but... Tornadoes illegal at McKinley, keeping you and your families at our school safe from their murderous rampages. Also on Tuesdays, uh, I pledge to go topless. All right, great. Good luck. Follow on that up. Two weeks, I've tried to address the real problem of obesity at this school. But my opponents chose empty promises and smear tactics. So I refuse to be bullied. Come on, Kurt. In fact, I refuse to let anyone be bullied. Today, I, I want to on, take it Kurt. one step further. I, I would like to hereby pledge to ban dodgeball at McKinley High. Okay, that's gonna get no votes. Of suppression. It's violent, it's, it's painful, it's humiliating. And I believe that it's an equivalent to modern day stoning. Let's end dodgeball at McKinley High. How the book? And send a strong message that violence... ...campaigned to the president on a crusade for school book covers. A plan to save the school thousands this of dollars. This is like, pick, <laughs> pick your poison here. I withdraw my candidacy and urge you all to vote for Kurt Hummel. Okay. He's the only candidate here today who never went negative. He, he's the one who deserves to be president. Kurt! Vote for Kurt. Kurt and Bert. Bert, Kurt. Kurt, Kurt. Anybody that has Kurt at the end of their name most likely has my vote. He did the resume boost to get into Niata. You're already so spectacular, but being senior class president will just put you over the top. Going to New York and getting into Niata, but then I realized that part of that dream is going there with you. <laughs> so now dream. I am all about helping you win. Consider me your campaign slave. I'm gonna hug you now, okay? Okay. <laughs> Love hugs. Hey, I was I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop this off for Beth. I just got her down. What are you dropping off? I left a bunch of voicemails Come trying on. to find a good time to join the trouble. I don't think it's a very good idea. Hmm. Well, Mr. Schuster won't miss me. I reached out to you. The hot sauce and the book and everything else you planted here. You think they were just gonna come here and find those things and then hand my baby over to you? She's my baby. You have no idea what it means to be a mother. Is that why you gave yours up for money? At least I did what I thought was best for my baby. You were just a cash whore. Is Puck going to get to see her? Is he the one who told We're done you? here. I hope you see this as a wake up call. Sue needs you in her office right away. What's going on? Have a seat, Santana. Great gathering here. I have some bad news, and I think I might be to blame. Oh, you think? Watch blood pressure bubbles tone for this campaign. And now I'm afraid my slanderous chickens have come home to roost. Santana, you should know that I have the phone number of a counselor who specializes in this. This is something that uh, I've been through firsthand. I'd be willing to talk to your family. Latest campaign ad. Turns out he has a niece who goes to the school and she overheard a conversation a couple of days ago between you and Finn Hudson. Family values. Why did you promote a lesbian student to be your head cheerleader? And when did you promote oh, telling Ohio families? Here's another God. question. Why don't you have a husband, Sue? Is there something you're not telling us? Sue Sylvester, so many questions. Oh, I can't believe this God. is happening. I'm so sorry. I haven't even told my parents yet. No. They won. They won the battle, the war. They won it all. Yeah.
Perfection here! I said I thought you were great. No, you're lying. Everyone's gonna know now because of you. The whole school already knows. And you know what? They don't Not care. just the school, you idiot. Everyone. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, my God. Sam couldn't have been louder when he said that shit. Just, oh, it sucks so bad. Legendary performance here from Santana. Alrighty guys, there we have it. Season 3, Episode 6 of Glee. Um, and a really fantastic episode. I do gotta say, rough for sure. Um, and things got hella messy. Uh, hella quick. But Santana, I feel really bad for her most of all. That she was outed. Um, and the way that she was outed and everything about it was truly awful and no one should have to, to deal with that or go through that. Um, so yeah, man, that was horrible. Her reaction to, um, when they, when they showed her the video and told her about it, Sue was there, apologized for it all, and Bert and Will trying to comfort her in the best way they could, but she broke down crying, saying her parents didn't even know. Oh, man, it was awful. So bad. But Finn screamed it for the whole, for the whole world to hear. And, yeah, just... Uh, it sucks, man. And, I mean, Santana, she was going off on fan before that. And as Santana usually does with her insults, she is creative with them. And they can hurt you. But, um, it sucks that it had to go here. And, and that's where we're at. And what an ending, man. How they just ended it right after that slap. Freaking just went silent. And my heart dropped. Makes you want more. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Santana. And then the performance she gave to with the Adele mashup. Fan freaking tastic. Um, great Santana performance. One of my favorites of hers, if not favorite. She sounded so good. The vocals, the passion, it was all freaking great. And Mercedes, nothing needs to be said there. Um, wonderful as well. Santana and Mercedes, when they get together in any fashion, they're, un they're un untouchable. <laughs> Great performance there. Uh, really good Adele songs. They killed it. Another performance I liked too was that You and I one with uh, Shelby and Will. Shelby, wonderful as always. Will did his thing. Uh, that was another favorite of mine. But yeah, man, we dealt with um, some, some bullying and uh, these freaking campaign videos we saw from Sue about Bert. Um, and how he was dating a donkey and had a freaking baboon heart. Awful, awful. Just plain dirty. Awful stuff there. Um, and then the speeches, too, from, from all the kids. Um, we had Dick the Stick Johnson, whatever his name was, the hockey dude. Um, his speech, awful. Brittany, topless every Tuesday. Or so. Oh, my goodness. I think she won everybody over with that one. Whole crowd went crazy. Um, Kurt is going to stop the modern day stoning, uh, which is good. But I did really like what Rachel did and how she uh, ended it all for, for Kurt. Uh, won the friendship back. Um, we need a Rachel-Kurt friendship in this show. That's it's a must. Uh, but I thought that was a really good moment for Rachel. And uh, love that for Rachel and Kurt. Uh, of course, we have all the freaking Puck drama with Shelby um, and them getting closer. But Puck scenes with the baby, I, I always adore them. Um, just everything with Puck and Shelby. It's a bit much. And then Quinn, uh, of course, getting in there as well. And Shelby going off on Quinn because Puck told her about everything. The whole situation. Mess. Uh, but the whole episode got very messy once again. 
um, but was definitely very enjoyable. I, I really did like the way they did this. MVP, we're giving to Santana um, with everything she went through. Of course, um, being outed, um, that freaking going off on Finn, she has great insults. It's always great when Santana's going off. I always love watching it. But, um, and her performance. The slap of Finn coming after. Great performance, though. But, yeah, Santana, we got to give her MVP for sure. But, ah, uh, so really bad for sure. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. Thank you all for watching. We're out.